Yo dudes, the past things here, and today we're gonna unbox this Yu-Gi-Oh! Two player starter set, as well as checking out Ark Balkesh, also known in Japanese as Ark Bahamut. So these were gifts from my brother. My bro so my brother called me, and when I came, he told me to close my eyes, and. When I open them, boom, look at this dude. Look at this. When I saw them, I was super excited. I couldn't believe what I just saw. One of the best Babyverse Evolution base and one of the greatest two player starters, starter decks to begin with. And oh my goodness, dudes, I just couldn't believe what I just saw. So before we get into the unboxing and checking out by Al Cash, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to make another Go Anime Yu-Gi-Oh! duel, which is me versus Kimberly Bandy. So I hope you guys tune in. If you don't don't know what Kimberly Bandy is, she's a great friend of mine. I'll have a link to her channel in the description. So stay tuned for the for the me versus Kimberly duel. But yeah, dudes, let's get down to these two, starting with Belcash. And starting us off, we have the Atomic Driver, one of the greatest. And most powerful drivers in all of Beyblade Burst. Or in the Burst generation, it's the same. So it has a free spinning ring over here. And a free spinning sphere, which helps with. Well, and is the greatest driver for. defense driver for life after Doom. And oh geez, you guys don't know, but this is one of the greatest drivers ever. <laughs> Super, a super powerful driver, must say, of course. When launched, it can go aggressively, then go on the center and let the free spinning sphere do its work. And it, it has a great amount of stamina. And really amazing driver for life after Doom. And it's it has the color black just like Belcash itself over here Belcash is black and yeah this is the atomic driver one of the most powerful drivers in all of burst now let's take a look at the disc and frame and that being the two disc and the and the bump frame and first we're going to check out the bump frame which of course it's surrounded here it has a bit of jagged parts for a bit of attack, but under it's super round and it really helps with life after doom mixed with this driver, atomic OGs. Oh super overpowered bay with life after doom. And now we have the two disc, which for, of course it has the number in it the two in it one over here another over there a third here and a fourth there and I'm not, I don't know what's with these zeros they're on the outside there could work on Excal one on the Excalius base and yeah really cool disc yeah, yeah. Now let's take a look at the layer itself. That being Bell Cash or Bahamut in Japanese. And oh geez. And yes, this is the Hasbro version because it has the orange in it. If it's the Takaratomi one, it will have purple. But this is the Hasbro version. And of course, the God chip is locked up. 
which, of course, that's another way to describe that this is a Hasbro Bay, and of course, it has that QR code in it, so, hold on, let me turn out the light, there we go, here's the QR code if, if you do want to scan it, there you go, but look at this dudes, look at this, dudes, it looks monstrous. It looks super fierce. Look at this. <laughs> so amazing. And of course, all... All uh, evolution base have... Have abilities on, depending on the layer on, on the driver. And of course, the, the ability on this layer is called Final Guard. What does it mean? What does this mean? Well, you see these parts over here. So when Belkesh starts losing clicks, you can see over here the spikes, the green spikes. How does this? Uh, hold on. There we go. So how does the ability work? So when it starts losing clicks and it goes the spikes go like this, it'll have a the effect of a barrier which goes really round and technically it's supposed to give it more defense, but it cover up the spikes so it could be more defensive, but ugh, it doesn't cover them up enough. But it's alright because it's super round to the point where it won't need them and it's super amazing. Yes, it does have, it might have a weak uh, slows, but the shape over here does help it out, not bursting. And of course we have the the fierce face of the dragon itself. Look at this. And yeah, now let's assemble it. Slope wise. It's strong but not so strong. But it's alright because it's super round so it'll help with not bursting. And look at these dudes. I'm so happy to have the first bell cache over here. Of course I have the its evolution. Dusk bell cache. Now all that's left is Roar Bell Cache. And I have the com the complete evolution line of the Bell Cache base. So we have Arc and Dusk and all that's left. Of course, it's Roar. But yeah, I, I'm so happy to have this bell cache over here on my hands. Super duper amazing. Alrighty, now let's give it a test spin. Alrighty, time for that test spin and let it rip. Okay. As you may know, I did launch it. You, you can see Atomic has that little bit of attack movement, but it'll go on the center, defending with that great stamina. Whoa! Come on, get out! Get out! There we go. <laughs> of course, looking super amazing on the spinning. Alrighty then, now let's go on to some battles. And these are the ones I chose. And, of course I will be battling with Dusk. Okay. And let's go, 3, 2, 1, let it rip! Belkesh! Berserk Rock the Vore! Of course, it's no, because... Even though Rock the Vore is attacking... 
it won't watch bell cache. Okay then, who's gonna win this? And bell cache, of course. We all know how how good Atomic is. Already then? Bell cash! Whoa, 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 whoa. Achilles! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Achilles is attacking fiercely, but. Whoa. Bell cash is resisting fiercely. And you can see, guys. You guys can see Bell cash is defending well. And it's still one. Achilles gave humongous attacks, but. Belkesh did not suffer from from those attacks. Really amazing. Belkesh! Whoa. Bryson! You can see I have Turbo Spryson here. Whoa, come on. No, there we go. Okay. And it's kind of coming down to stamina battle. Great. <laughs> Of course, Belkesh is going to spin steal his way to victory. And Belkesh wins. Alrighty then, time for Belkesh versus Belkesh action. Arc Belkesh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, dude. Attempt number two. Arc Dust! Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, it's attacking. Okay, Dust, you're attacking well. Whoa. He's going to the side, he's gonna scrape because of the wall frame. Whoa, I knew it. Whoa! And crazy that it it's the evolution of this, but still can't but can't beat Ark. What the heck, dude? Okay, let's go for round two. Ah! Ark Valkyrie! Dust Valkyrie! Whoa, come on. Alright, there we go. Of course. Again, going to the side. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Arc is basically... Arc is basically one of the best spell caches. Both... Both in Hasbro and Takara told me. And it's still lost. Dude. Arc is just defeating... Ark is just defeating dust like it's nothing, oh jeez. You can tell this is the greatest bell cache of all time. Alrighty then, moving on from Ark bell cache, and now let's get on to the two player starter set from Yu Gi Oh! And there we go. Oh wait, we didn't look at the box first, oh jeez. <laughs> so over here we have the Yu Gi Oh! logo. Sorry about that, guys. Here we have the two player starter set, of course, which is this box right here. Of course, it's for the 25th anniversary of Yu Gi Oh! from Konami. Over here has the various monsters. Oh, there's Dark, Dark Magician Girl over there. <laughs> and of course, we have the mighty Zeus itself, including Zeus. And over here. Oh, there's Global Hedgehog over there. Yeah, those are the variety of monsters you have. You can have on these decks. Over here it says, It's time to duel! Yeah! Over here, we. it tells you how you, you can learn to play these decks over here. Of course, we have the mighty monsters over here. Especially Gilgarth and the Dark Magician. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's take a look at this at the stuff. And starting us off, we have the manual or the instructions, where you can learn how to play the game. Practical but super amazing how 
to in order to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh. If you're if you're new to playing Yu-Gi-Oh, this you need you need these this stuff to start playing, which is cool. Now let's take a look at the desk decks. Which to mention on the back of the decks it has advices of what what you need to do before you play with these decks. But let's get into them. Also look how the how the the images of the advices look the X this one and the synchro one. I'm gonna leave the synchro one to last. Alrighty then, let's, now let's take a look at the decks. <laughs> and starting us off, we have the mighty Suicid himself, also known as Dibang Asterno, a Asus Sky Thunder, <laughs> which is the main monster on the box, followed by the other synchro, which we're gonna get to. So, you guys can pause to read the effects. There you go. No, there's the mighty suits itself. Oh, Castell the the Sky Blaster Musketeer, another really good ex Exceed monster, and oh, Giga Brilliant, one of Kite's monsters, and we have the Angusto Emerald. Look at that Emerald. <laughs> now, for the main deck, we have. Uh, fierce Tiger Manga. I don't know how you pronounce that. We have Magical Blocker. Brocker, sorry. Whoa. Uh, st star Drawing. Night Beam. A Traffic Control. Whoa, Star Changer, Gakuga Magician, one of Yuma's cards, Fighting Spirit, Burden of the Mighty, King Beast Barbaros, Whoa, Swing of Memories, a card that represents Atticus and Alexis's bond, Gyroid, one of Cyrus cards, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Gravity X, Grawl, Needle Ceiling, Book of Moon, Mystical Space Typhoon, a really good a really good card as well. Whoa. Penguin Penguin Soldier. Sheer and the Mage. Whoa, Magician of Faith, and there is Dark Magician Girl. Look at her, in all of her beauty and glory. And it's another one of Yugi's cards and Attempts cards. I think Taya, but yeah, I think one of Taya's cards from the virtual world. Xyz Reborn, Crane Crane, Skill Successor, what? Elderish the Golden Lord? What is the, what is the Golden Lord doing in here? I don't get it. But I heard it's a really good card. Amazing. Cyber Dragon, one of Saints cards, well, one of the many cyber dragons from Zane because he has three, and this is one of them. Nice. Call of the Hunted. Cost Down. Thousand Knives. White Ninja. Draining Shield. No Entry. Trade In. Soul Stalk Stalker. Ojama Yellow. We all know how crazy this guy is. And 
Dark Magician. Okay. So it looks like we have, have Dark Magician Girl. Now we have Dark Magician. I think this is the... The 6th, 7th, or 8th artwork. I think. I'm not so sure. But yeah, this is Dark Magician. The most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! monster, of course, this being the ace of Yugi and Atem. The most glorious monster, and the mighty and the legendary. Super amazing. I don't know if this is the 6th, 7th, or 8th artwork, though. One of the three. Rabbit Dragon. La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Giant Soldier of Stone. Queen's Knight. And that's about it. One of the advertisements of the Xyz monsters. And of course the advice. And yeah, that's all of the deck. Well, let's get onto that Synchro deck. And that being... Manadium Prime Heart. Another card for the box, followed by Zeus. And here's its effects if you want to read it. There you go. We have Rampaging Smash Tank. Real Saber. Oh man, these names. Coral Dragon. A classic. Stygian Surgeons. Whoa. Tr Officer Drudge's card. Nice. When he was battling against Akiza. Back to the front. Minetium Fearless. I think this is a Minetium deck. I'm not so sure. Galaxy Cyclone. Supply Squat. Phantom King Hybride. Liberty at last. Whoa. White Elephant's Gift. Power Frame. Dark Resonator, one of Jack's cards. Quillbolt Hedgehog. A UC card, which UC said it was one of his favorites, I think. And Monarch OG's, whoa. Which is, well, come on. Mobius the For Frost Monarch. Card Trooper, a card from Jaden. Well, Mage Power. Magic Cylinder. <laughs> oh, jeez. If there's an attack, be careful with if with your with the this card because you're done for. <laughs> Mask of Accursed. Kunai with Chain. One of Joey's cards. Dark Hole. Mask of Darkness. Whoa. Fisher. Barrier Resonator. Another one of Jack's cards. Whoa. Minadium Fearless. Again. <laughs> Beast of Starfrost. Whoa. Obsessive Uwalup Loop. Oh man. Different Dimensional Crow. One time passcode. The Warrior Returning at Life. Card Card D. One of Yuma's cards. Scapegoat. Another. Well, a Joey card. Storming Mirror Force. Apprentice Piper. Backup Rider. Source of Revealing Light. Your opponent cannot attack for three turns. Ally of Justice, Klaus, Klaus Olos. Gil Garth. Ojama Green. Whoa. Ryu Ran. Such a, an iconic monster that I haven't seen in, in a while. Launcher Spider. Spirit of the, of the Arp. Impechi. Elemental Hero Sparkman. And that's it. The this is the the card for the Synchro Monsters and the advice. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, dudes, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. 
do I recommend getting these? Yep, absolutely. If you're starting in Yu-Gi-Oh, these decks will help you out. You must get this box in order to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a cool way to start off playing. And for Balkesh, you must need it. You you must need it because it's a great left spin bay because it has bomb, atomic, and the greatest that is the arc Balkesh layer base. Well, layer, sorry. But yeah, I recommend getting these two. It they're super amazing and really good start off and a really good left spin bay. But yeah, dudes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the post notifications to not miss the next video. And make sure to never give up and cut the wing. Hurry! And make sure to tune in for the Me vs. Kimberly Bandy Yu Gi Oh! duel on Go Animate. So, not so much else to say. This is the Pastings. Sign out.